What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about how to build multi-program budgets in QuickBooks Online. So we often talk about how to get your budget in here and make sure you're running budget to actuals, but what do you do when you then move from the organizational level to the programmatic level and you need to track expenses and income by those programs? How do you run those budget to actuals? How do you even put those budgets in QuickBooks? If any of that sounds remotely interesting to you or you wanna learn about it, keep watching. Today we are going to be walking through how to create program budgets in QuickBooks Online. So before we get into the budgeting piece, we first need to make sure that you are using classes properly because that is going to be needed here in order to set up the budgets. Once you have the classes set up and if you already have your budgets handy, it really is a pretty straightforward process. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna to go to all lists because we're gonna to go to classes, because we're gonna see what we have set up here. So when we go to programs, we already have program A, B, and C set up. So what you first want to do is you wanna make sure that you are using classes to track your functional expenses. So you'll see here that we have a class for GNA, that's general and administrative items or expenses. Then we have the fundraising class. This is also fundraising is one of the functional expenses. And you'll see here, we actually have two subclasses. And this is because this particular nonprofit has uh, fundraisers that they specifically like to track spending for, right? And so that's why we have those sub tiers so that if we wanted to dive deeper into the gallo or the book drive, we could do that versus just looking at everything on a macro level. Then if we go down here, there's programs, right? And so we know that a lot of times programs are funded by different grants, let's say. We know that sometimes you need to determine you know, what the spending is for individual programs. And so that's why while we do keep the master class of programs, we then break down the individual programs into sub subclasses so that we can run reports on these individual ones by themselves. So this is already set up. So then the next thing you wanna do is you're going to go to budgeting. So you'll see here that there's two budgets already. We're not gonna pay attention to those. We're gonna to go to create budget. We already have pin, um, the budget type is profit and loss. We're gonna keep that. We're going to assume that the organization runs on a calendar year. So we're gonna keep that. Here is where we're going to get specific. So we are going to click subdivided because this is where we want to get specific, right? And so because we know that we're tracking programs by classes, we want to subdivide by class. Then it's subdivide four. So here's the thing. You're going to have to do this each time. So we're going to go to program A first. It does let us choose all. You can do this one of two ways so you can do each one individually or together let's see what it looks like to do all at once this is why this is good for us to kind of look at it both ways the reason why i'm going to caution against this is because there's probably going to be a lot of toggling back and forth right so let's say we're going 100 thousand here so you can do this all on one screen but i'm going to be honest i probably would prefer to do it separately let's just uh i'm gonna x that out and i'm just gonna go to program a do I want to leave without saving? Yes. So we're going to do some guess, some 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 assuming here, some guessing here, right? Because this is all fake. So we're going to say one hundred thousand for corporate and uh, foundation grants. And here's the thing to note: if you have your budget where it's specific down to the month, then you, of course, you can change how you do this, right? So you have, so you see here, you have monthly, quarterly, yearly. So if we go yearly, it's just going to show for the year. So we're going to go, we're going to go yearly because we don't have this breaking down by months. Most, most organizations don't. So that's okay. If you don't, we're going to go with a hundred thousand in corporation. We're going to go with 2.5 um, mil for government grants. And we're going to leave that yearly. We'll say they're spending 36,000 on accounting. I mean, but this is just to show you how this looks. So I'm going to do some payroll expenses. And we're going to save this. Then we're going to go down to program B. We're not going to give program B too many, too much. And let's say program B, we need to give them a little bit of money. So let's say grant income. So we're just going to do program A and B here. So 
uh, saving clothes. This is the one that was just created. And here's the thing, you should absolutely rename each budget so you know what it's specific to. So if we wanted to run budget versus actuals, you see here it's being run for program A and B. Those are the two budgets that we entered. Now you'll see there's no actuals here naturally because we didn't put any expenses in for this year. This is really just to show you what this looks like, but let's update some filters. So you can determine what you like, how you like to see this, but we often like to look at it like this because usually when these organizations are getting funding that is specific to programming, a lot of times they want to see, well, what is the left in these particular lines? More specifically, like, is there anywhere that we're overspending, underspending, right? Um, because sometimes if you underspend, right, these grants sometimes don't want to give you the money again in another year because they think you don't need it. So it's important to determine, like, how are you spending? And so this is just showing you, right? what it would look like. So if you had actuals in this year, it would be compared to these items in the budget. And then of course it would show what's remaining. If you wanted to see it different, right? And see how much you were over budget by or the percent of budget, you can change that, right? And you see here, like we haven't, we're technically, we haven't spent yet. And this will kind of be, depending on, depending on like where your funding is coming from, like it could potentially be seen right as like a red flag, let's just say if nothing was spent, right? So we're talking, it's March, we're looking at January, right? We're looking at the full year, but let's just say it's March. So, you know what, let's look at the first quarter. We'd be a little concerned because it's like, we didn't receive any money in yet. Of course, this is just an example, but you get the idea. And so what you want to do, if you are receiving money specific for programs, you want to make sure that you're typically in the grant agreement, they'll give you like a budget. You want to make sure that that budget is entered into QBO for that specific program. And that as part of your month in reports, when you're putting together your organizational level reports, you also want to drill down to these programmatic levels just to make sure that you're keeping an eye on what's supposed to be happening. Because if you run these reports and things are a little strange, not what you were expecting, then you can start to ask the right questions. But if you're not digging deep and, you know, on the organizational level, it looks like, hey, we're receiving, you know, money, we're spending pretty reasonably. You don't know if you're in trouble or in danger in any of these specifics because you're not drilling down. And so that's going to be the key here. So I hope that this was helpful. Make sure that if you have any questions that you drop them down in the comment box. So I know that probably was a bit much. I hope that it was helpful. If you have any specific questions around what we did today and what I showed you in QuickBooks Online, then you can drop it below in the comments. And also I want to remind you of accounting for good. So if you are a nonprofit executive director and you don't really have support or help as it relates to managing your finances and you're not quite ready to outsource, then I invite you to join our membership community. It is called Accounting for Good. It is a mix of nonprofit executive directors and professionals that want to learn about how to maximize their accounting operations for their nonprofit. And there we're talking about different things around QuickBooks, budgeting, uh, grant management, all of the things that surround fiscal, that surround accounting, that surround QuickBooks Online, if that's what you're using. And so if you know that you need help and you'd like to get some hands-on support, then I invite you to join. The link will be in the description box and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.